Hey, so just going to do a little deep dive into an area that I find exciting, which is that same area we looked at last time around Hood River. And one of the reasons that I think it's uh, an interesting place is that it's really close to the interstate. So any sort of business that requires shipping uh, is viable. Uh, it's close to Portland, you know, only less than an hour to Portland. It's three and a half hours to Seattle. And it's on the dry side of the Cascades. And I'm just going to go through a couple of the things that I was looking at, which uh, got me excited. Um, so we're looking at the area around Hood River. On the Oregon side is the Hood River community. And on the Washington side, it's the White Salmon community. And we have sort of middle of the road schools, and this is Zillow, and they give you a good rating of the schools, good view of the schools. If we're looking at the white salmon community, some interesting history is uh, the land was sold to these uh, white folks from the Klickitat uh, tribe, and that's how the development got started. And we saw last time that the reservation is right near the, uh, the, the, what reservation is it? It's the, um, Yakima reservation, which is right up here. So sort of a big swath of land up here. And this was sold by the Klickitat tribe. And the Klickitat tribe now lives in the Yakima reservation. A uh, little history. Um, but it's a small town and in the, on the Washington side. And on the other side is a much bigger community, Hood River, sort of the, one of the entrances to the Hood River uh, resort. And what interested me here was reading that a couple high-tech industries in aerospace, such as the military drone company and uh, Hood River Technologies, have become the largest employers in Hood River, uh, which I thought was great. It's not just an agriculture community, and that's right across the, the road, or the river, rather. Um, yeah, these are those drones, in situ drones. Um, took a look at some of the jobs in the county in Washington, and uh, no tech jobs. So that's either... <laughs> ripe for disruption or an indication that um, there aren't any universities nearby. One also interesting thing was in White Salmon, they adopted a six-month moratorium on residential housing. Uh, and, and this seemed to be because the way that the community was developing was not... Um, in line with the comprehensive plan that they're aiming for. So I do have to look into what is the status of this before we were to move forward. Uh, but they have, you know, the nice thing is about small communities is they give you <laughs> the mayor's email. You can just email the, the person to find out more information. And, and then there's this article of 20 reasons to move to White Salmon and a lot of compelling reasons, uh, brewery, um, good views in Mount Hood, uh, bike paths, whitewater rafting, hiking, uh, a lot of good stuff. Took a look at the Twitter feed and it looked like it had got some snow recently. Uh, people are not having fun in Portland because of a combination of um, the municipality's decisions and people trying to create autonomous zones. Um, and oh yeah just i'm concerned that it's going to be super rainy and wet so uh the, the community is over here on the dry side so it is much drier than seattle or portland which is good because i i don't know how i do in super rainy weather um our gun laws in washington are good and uh, they're better than Oregon. So a good sense of freedom, at least in the rural parts of Washington. 
And that's all I have for this area uh, that we're potentially looking at. Uh, the other two areas, or the top areas that are being looked at are the Coos Bay area over on the Oregon coast, which would be rainy. Uh, there are some interesting valleys up in northern Washington, but that's getting pretty, pretty dark in the winter months. And then also this Missoula, Bozeman area is interesting. I guess Missoula's over here. Yep.